If you've ever been in a major storm and gone without power for an extended period of time, you know what a problem it can be. All of your food can spoil in your refrigerator. All of your ice melts and drains across the floor. You can't see around the house at nighttime. Plus in the winter time, you might not have any heat. Well, we've got a way to avoid that problem because we're working with a Generac power system on this house. And what it is is actually a generator that will put enough power in the house to run all of the important things, the lights, our refrigerator, anything that we feel is necessary. Whenever the power kicks off, it kicks on automatically. We don't have to come outside in the storm to turn it on. How it works is there's a battery over here and the battery is hooked up to our main power and it's getting a trickle charge all the time. So the battery's always charged. We don't have to worry about it. We have a twin cylinder engine in here, 25 horsepower, and it can generate 10 kilowatts of power, which is plenty for the parts of the house that we'll need in a storm. Very easy to take care of. Any parts that you might need, you can find at auto stores, like an oil filter. It's just like an engine in a car. Very, very simple. It weighs less than 400 pounds, so you just have to put a concrete pad outside for it. You don't have to come outside and flip it on. Like I said, it knows when the power goes off and it automatically turns itself on. It actually turns itself on every seven days just to make sure the whole system works and runs through and make sure there's not a problem. And that way, whenever there is a problem with the power, you know that it'll start and it'll take care of itself. Now, to fuel this thing, we don't add gasoline. It can run on natural gas or propane. At this house, we have a 250 gallon propane tank in the backyard. This is the gas line coming from the tank. It comes right in here and that's what we'll burn whenever we need it. And then all the power goes out of the generator into this box into the other side of the garage. Let's take a look. Now inside our garage, we have ordinary breaker boxes that we have breakers for the different circuits in the house. We're gonna run all of our electricity through these boxes, except for just a little bit, we have this special box over here. Now this is our generator box. If we ever lose power from the utility company, the power is going to kick on through the generator and it's going to come through this box. So we determine which circuits in the house we want on here. On this particular house, the homeowner chose that they have certain lights on inside the house plus the refrigerator. You might be different. If you have a basement and you don't want it to flood during the storm and you have a sump pump down there, you might put the sump pump circuit in there as well. Or let's say you have a water well outside, you're going to have to have water. So you'd hook that pump in as well. If you want electricity during the storm, you put that circuit inside this box. Now right now, we have power coming from the utility company into this box. It's going through these two boxes, it's powering everything in the house. It's coming over here to our automatic transfer switch. From our automatic transfer switch, it goes into this box as well. So we're powering all of our lights, all of our pumps, anything that we really picked out, we're getting power to. If we cut off power from the utility company, it's going to kill these two boxes, but not this one. We'll do an example here. Shut off the main breakers. Okay, we have no power coming from the utility company. The automatic transfer switch, after 15 seconds, is going to kick on the generator outside and start making power. 15 seconds after that, it's then going to start putting power through this box. So all of our emergency circuits, whichever ones we pick, are going to start being fed. Hear it start up out there? Okay, 15 seconds from now, we'll hear it pop inside this box and the power will start to come inside of here. Now, this says live wires do not touch. That is true. We've taken the panels off here so you can see behind, but you don't ever want to touch any of these wires. And there the switch popped. Okay, so now we have power coming from the generator through whatever circuits we put in this box. We have nothing over here, things that we're not going to need in the house during the storm. Don't worry about it. We don't need to send power to it. A whole house, if you have everything turned on, is maybe 40 or 50 kilowatts. We've got 10 kilowatts of power, so we only want important circuits. Water pumps, sump pumps, maybe a water heater inside the house, and certain lights inside of the house. That's it. We don't turn on anything else. Now, once the city utility power starts coming back on, 15 seconds later, the transfer switch will go ahead and pop the power back on from the utility company into all of our circuits. It's already coming through these two boxes, but it'll add this one here. And then one minute later, it'll shut off the generator outside. It'll give the generator time to cool down, make sure that everything's okay. But the system doesn't kick back and forth, as you can see, with those 15 second delays, it only comes on when it knows the power's off and it's not going to crank back up. And then it does the reverse only when it's sure that everything's okay. 
If you'd like a generator for your home, it's a good idea to have a professional electrician come up and size up your needs and see exactly how many circuits you're going to be putting in your emergency box and then figure out what size generator that you need. All of the work inside that the electrician had to do is anywhere from $1,500 to $4,000 depending on where you live. This is for new construction, but it can also be retrofitted inside houses as well. If you've ever gone through a major storm without power, you know how important these type of systems can be. It's for your convenience, your safety, and your security. It's a great investment.